All right, one of our other speakers this morning, Heather Zempel, made a comment that I just would love to respond to as well. She said, and I'm looking forward to meeting you, Heather, uh, I'm finding that practicing Sabbath is key to keeping a healthy soul. What a great observation. And it brings us to the question, what importance or role does Sabbath keeping play? Um, I would say a huge one, a huge one. And it's one of the Ten Commandments, right? And it's one of the Ten Commandments that we sort of routinely uh, break. And even in ministry, that becomes a very challenging uh, practice, command to obey. But there's a reason it's embedded in those Ten Commandments right up there with lying, stealing, you know, all this other stuff. So why is it so important? There's a, a long answers to that. But to me, a Sabbath is sort of like other spiritual practices of relinquishment, where we are giving something up, say it's fasting or tithing, anything like that, where we are saying, in essence, I trust you, God, with my well-being, with my life, with my nourishment or my finances. And in Sabbath, it's kind of a way of saying, God, I trust you with everything that needs to be done. I trust you with my life, with the days of my lives, the hours of my days. And it's, it's a devotion of that time given over to God so that we can have those times to restore the health of our soul. God knows how desperately the human soul needs real-time connection with him. And so he's instituted at least once a week, carved out time for us to be with him. So um, we can theolo theologize, whatever that word is, be theologians about this all we want. But the question is, what are you going to do? For me, I've had to say, well, a lot of my weekends are, are with ministry commitments or this or that or the other. I find it helpful to take what I call a 24-hour floating Sabbath. Maybe when I get to heaven, God will of course correct me on this, but or sooner. But um, as for now, I try to say there's a certain time, usually over the weekend, Friday to Monday, where at this point, I kind of say, this is when the Sabbath starts. And for the 24 hours following that, I'm off the email, off anything that feels like it's productive, it's work that needs to be done, because it's a discipline. I need to set those aside and choose to be with God and community and friends and things that restore life to my soul. So I don't know how it'll work for you. Maybe it's a certain time and day every week, but I would urge you, as Heather is finding, to make sure you honor the Sabbath and keep it holy. It'll help keep your soul in a healthy place.